This is a type of meteorite called a braconite, and it is super rare. We've only ever found about 60 or so of them on Earth. Let's talk a little bit about it, take a closer look, and learn about what makes it special. This is a more recently discovered braconite. It's identified as NWA-16170. It was found in Africa in 2023, and I've had it in my collection for about a year or so. Braconites are pretty unique because they're considered primitive achondrites. When we say primitive, we don't necessarily mean that they're older than other meteorites. We mean that they are less altered by things like heat and geological process. So they're effectively closer to what we would have seen at the beginning of the early formation of the solar system rather than a lot of the things we find now, which are altered by the different processes associated with becoming differentiated bodies like planets and asteroids and things of that nature. One way I like to think about this is kind of like baking a cookie. You've heard me talk about chondrites and I've shown you examples of those on my channel. Those are more like raw cookie dough. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have achondrites. Those are pieces we get from things like the moon and Mars and other differentiated bodies. Those are more like fully formed cookies that have undergone geological process. Braconauts kind of exist in the middle. They're kind of like a cookie that's just started to bake where the edges are getting a little bit crispy. So in this case, some of the cookie has undergone some process, but a lot of it remains primitive, unchanged. There's a lot we can learn about geologic processes and the formation of our solar system by looking at these different stages of these rocks as we discover them. My sample here is absolutely stunning. It has kind of this darker texture, but we see we have a seam of kind of this orange, brown, reddish color running through it. And when the camera catches it in the light just right, you see it has a little bit of sparkle. A lot of times when we see sparkle in meteorites, it's metal, but braconauts don't have a lot of metal. They're mostly olivine. So I suspect what we're seeing there is probably reflections off of the little crystals that are in it. Um, it's absolutely amazing. They almost look like diamonds. If you like learning about space through the lens of meteorites that make their way to Earth, make sure to follow along. I've got a ton of cool things to show you as we keep learning together. Remember, space is within your reach.